All right, everyone. Welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm gonna do a little video here. I say little. It's probably gonna end up being a little bit long. Uh, I'm actually gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna use my GoPro. Um, some of this will probably be sped up um, with the time lapse, uh, just so it's not super long. Um, anyway, I was trying to think of something to do that we haven't done in a while and uh, I had a few things in mind you know I, I started to make some soft plastics I started to do a couple of new colors uh, figure you know something out but uh, I got some stuff I'm you know I got a new mold I ordered I'm waiting on it and also got a custom mold uh, coming that I'm gonna release and or um, I say release I'll show you and then I'll you know I'll give the uh, the company a big shout out uh, you know and we'll try it out and see how it works uh, give a, a review on it anyway uh, I've never dealt with the company and I'll release all that when uh you know the time comes but anyway so I was sitting here trying to figure out what to do you know I, I could try to do something on the um, a spinner bait but I'm gonna hold off a little bit on that I got some other stuff I need to do, so I said, well, hell, I'll just do it on camera. Um, before we get started on that, where are my scissors at? I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what I did with, actually, cool to me, uh, might not be to anybody else. Let me turn the camera around. Um, I made me a, I took one of those poison um tail three quarters and made me a, an actual bladed jig with it i had received this uh this bladed jig for a christmas santa thing you know that some people was doing online and it was on you know it was originally done with this um and i you know i'm not bashing nobody uh this really wasn't you know i was going well you can see that was uh crooked anyway but i was just going to cut that off because that ain't you know something i would want on my bladed jig but you know and i saw that and i was like well i wonder if one of my little you know spinnerbait heads would work or technically it's a jig head but uh anyway i took put it on there tested it out and tried it and it works like a charm so um i was actually very very happy with that uh actually very happy i received even though that jig wasn't ideal i was actually happy i received that because it gave me the idea to, to try that out so anyway so i'm excited about that but anyway let's get into it um what i'm gonna do is i have a couple i have a couple of uh baits that i actually want to repaint uh let me spin you around where you can see what i have here uh this right here is one of those glide baits it's uh well they call it a joint bait but it's a evergreen uh bait i think they're hell they're about seven inches long uh most of the writing on this package is uh actually chinese every bit of it's chinese actually so uh length 17 see, yeah it's it's probably close to with the tail on it, it's probably close to seven inches but anyway um this color is kind of it's real dark almost like a purplish color um i want it in a raffle and i just i want to change the color up so i'm gonna paint that one and if i have time depends on how long the video is you know that's why i'm gonna use uh i'm gonna speed it up but i'm gonna probably go ahead and paint this one also this is a little prop duster um you know i ended up with and i just did not like this dark color you know i wanted to change it up so i'm gonna attempt to uh paint both of these i'll probably 
honestly I'll probably paint both of them the same color um so what I'll end up doing is painting you know I'll you'll see like I say I'm gonna use pretty much unless there's areas where I want I'm gonna slow down to uh, like go in more detail uh, most of it you're probably gonna see in sped up mode um, but anyway I'll go ahead and show you the colors I'm gonna use um, of course we're gonna go with white for the main base uh, you'll see me using uh, fluorescent yellow some wicked golden yellow uh, pearl uh, tangerine black of course uh, aqua this right here is a mixture uh, mixture of greens that ended up being the perfect tint for what I like to use for like say a little bit of brim pattern so I just call it my brim green um, I have another one set up that uh, I call frog green color All right. bad timing <laughs> Uh, leaf green and then pearl magenta so that's the colors I'm gonna be using um, and I'm gonna try to have the camera set up that's why I got it in an angle I'm gonna try to have the camera set up to where you can see what's going on um, like I say you'll to begin with you probably won't see a whole lot of neat stuff you know I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna do like a base well, of course I'm gonna start out with a base of white and then you'll and I'll try to stop it explain what I'm doing then start back you know uh, but anyway you'll see what's going on and we're gonna try not to make this video two hours long so you'll see a lot of sped up stuff so uh, if that is uninterested to you I am sorry because uh, I've had people comment oh I do too much uh, I have one person comment and say I do a lot of yabbering <laughs> Of course and if you don't like the channel I'm sorry step off uh, anyway let's get into it all right maybe you was able to um see what was going on i know that was in time lapse so it was going kind of quick um so i'll try to explain where we're at all right let me turn you around as you can see i already put uh netting on it you know this right here i went with that um uh, that fluorescent yellow magenta and then the uh aqua on top done all three of uh done both of them that way but um i did the netting off camera because it's our it's pain in the butt enough to do it on camera uh or off camera so just to make it quicker i went ahead and done it like this uh when you're doing netting um especially a bait like this where it's got like a fin on top or something like that uh you might not be able to fill in you know and get that perfect net look on top uh i always i, I really don't worry about it uh the color you get done with you can always like hit it real you know quick on the top and bottom and it'll kind of close those seams in where you can't see the unfinished and you'll understand what i'm trying to say uh towards the end but 
you know, like, for example, if, uh, if we was going to turn this into, say, a bluegill pattern, the top's going to be dark anyway. You can always just, just go over the top a little bit, and it'll, it'll kind of fade that in to where you wouldn't really be able to tell. Same with the bottom. You can hit it with a, a brighter color just to try to tie those those unconnected spots in. The net <clears throat> is mainly, we want that side done where when we pull the netting off, we'll have that nice side. But anyway, we're fixing to get set up uh, and continue and we're gonna swap it back over to time lapse and hopefully, um, like I say, I'm sure it'll shorten it up a lot, but hopefully you'll be able to see what we're, what we're trying to do. I'm trying to, as it's in time lapse, you know, show the, the color I'm going with next. It might be kind of quick, but, um, you know, for example, I've done been out here, ooh, probably a good hour, you know, and we're only that far in. So if I didn't have it on time lapse, we would be out here forever. So anyway, I'm gonna get uh get this ready and we'll we'll uh continue. Now let's check them out. Uh, hopefully I tried to, you know, I looked at the camera and tried to hold it up and maybe it's not going so fast that you wouldn't able to see, you know, what colors I was using and when I was using them. Um, anyway, what we're going to do, we're fixing to go ahead and take the, um, the screen off. And in case you was wondering, I didn't show earlier, um, wondering what I use for screen. Oh, uh, let me turn you a little bit. This right here, you get it at Hobby Lobby. It's like $4.99. And pretty much, it's, you know, it's just like a screen mesh. Uh, for this, I, I did double it over to give it a little bit thicker uh, look. But anyway, that's what I use for that. All right, let's... Let's go ahead and strip these babies down and see if we got anything worth looking at. It might have turned out all right. It might look like garbage. Um, now, we're still not done, but we got to look and see how it is. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Hopefully, the camera will, um, will show and pick it up. You can see very lightly in the cracks you can see the magenta and you can see the aqua in the cracks i'm looking at the camera and I, it really ain't showing up that great but anyway it's there it's a lot of work to uh to try to add that little effect to it but i mean personally i think it's worth it uh just by looking at it um like i say on camera it really don't even 
it's really not even showing up good on camera uh i wish i could get it maybe when uh i get a clear coat on it you can see this one you can see the magenta a little bit more hopefully yeah and you can i mean i think it looks jam up um uh, looks really nice in my opinion but my opinion does not matter um like i say i'm i'm satisfied with how it looks we still got a little bit more to do uh nothing major um actually i i really wouldn't even have to mess with it i'll decide once i undo all these i'll decide because what i was talking about with maybe touching up the belly and the back just to get it a little more detail but it looks pretty good now this one i definitely will uh that other one i'm not so sure about because i mean yeah that one the magenta it, it really stands out but it looks great uh, i'm very satisfied with how how that turned out uh, all right let's look at the let's look at that hold on one second my wife is messaging me let me but let me show you this real quick and then i gotta pause it my wife needs me to to help her out with something real quick so uh let's see how this one turned out Oh yeah, now that looks good. Looks real good. I'm very happy with how that uh with how that turned out. Alright. Alright, give me a few minutes. I need to go do something real quick for the wife. Everything here is fine. I'll pause you and we will continue in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. Um, had to go do something. Only took about 20 minutes or so, but uh, anyway, I forgot. Time passed me by. I forgot I told my wife I would do something for her, and she asked me if I'd done it yet. So I was like, oh, doing it now. So anyway, um, you know, originally I was going to put a, um, I was going to use these and you know do like a fin or something like that but i really you know i i honestly don't i don't see no need to uh not really i could but i honestly don't see no need to so i'll put that up for later um what i use to make the the stripes on them you can use a comb or anything but i had made you know i'd cut out when I say cut out, I actually think I used a, um, a wood burning tool, but anyway, I had made me one of those a while back, so that's what I used, but anyway, I don't think I need to worry about fins or anything, um, uh, I mean, if I was back doing the old custom orders for customers and stuff like that, and they wanted something like that, then yes, but, um, uh, anyway, on this i don't see no reason to all right here's what i'm gonna do um i was thinking about it now on this one i really i might put a i might put a real small touch on the i'm not messing with the bottom honestly but the top i might put a little small touch of black to tie it in um this other one i'll use a little bit more black i actually might use a different technique on it so i'll do this one first uh let me put some gloves on most of the time i don't even use gloves but i'm gonna put them on because i gotta go to work here in a couple hours and i you know sometimes you don't you're not able to get all the the black paint and stuff off your fingers and all so i'll just I'll do it this way. Just put some old black in there. And for this right here, we're not gonna do the, I mean, this right here hopefully won't take but just a couple of minutes, so. 
I'm not even gonna worry about I'm not even gonna worry about putting it on slow-mo all right let's see if we can get you angled now this all I'm gonna do is just put a, you know I don't want solid black but just like that I basically just want to darken it up to tie it in a little bit more and I think that will look pretty decent I might put a little bit All I was doing there was just putting a little, just darkening it up inside there just a little bit. You know, not much, but just putting a little bit. Uh, like you can see, it's just enough to, just enough to darken it up. Now this one, I trying to decide now I'll do this the same way I was gonna try to go fancy with it but I think I think it would be more productive just to yeah see I'm hoping it shows up on camera like that. It's just enough to darken it up, but you still got everything going on good. Um, it should be able to pop more once I clear coat it, you know, and you can see what's going on. Cause originally what I thought about doing was just taking the top and actually putting a few little just spread it bars down, but ain't no need. All we're gonna do is just darken it up just enough to where it blends you know blends in a little bit I might darken it up around the head a little bit more yeah just like that yeah I think that looks looks good a little bit more where the where the joint is going to be yeah let's see here yeah all right that way it ain't solid black but it's got a good joint and as far as the painting we are pretty much about done i do want to i do want to right around the eyeballs I do want to darken that up a little bit more uh, and this is just personal appearance uh, personal preference um, I do think that darkening it up around the eyes like the eye socket uh, makes the eye stand out a little bit more when you uh, when you put the eyes on um, that may not be the, the case you know for everybody but personally I think it looks better if it's dark around the eyes a little bit more and the other way when you go with the eye color it will make it stand out more so all right so what we're gonna do from uh, from right here I'm gonna dry that I'm gonna go ahead and clean the gun out cuz I don't if I do not clean it proper um those of you that have airbrushed you know it's a pain in the ass once you let it really set and you know so i want to go ahead and get it clean so what i'm going to do is actually pause you uh i'm going to get everything set up and ready uh hold on let's see i'm about to jump the gun where the hell is it this right here goes in the center i need to decide if i want to leave it the color it was or I honestly don't think it's gonna hurt leaving it the color it is uh, you know it's kind of a dark 
color on one side and you kind of got like a greenish gold tint on the other I honestly don't think that's gonna look bad like that so I'm I honestly just gonna leave it alone um you know I was I really was gonna consider painting this but it's a darker color and I really think it uh it'll match up. I mean I could waste I could waste another hour. Well it really wouldn't take that long. It's just time consuming. I could waste a little bit of time and like you know paint it to really match the body, but I I really don't think it's gonna you know take away from it or add to it that much. Uh because this one I personally plan on fishing with so I had ended up with a, I won a couple of, I thought they were the same size, I didn't pay attention, but I ended up with a couple of the six and a halves, and them things were, they were just too big, you know, over two ounces, this one's like a five inch, somewhere in there, uh, personally I'll use this one, the other two I, I, I let go, so um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get this gun cleaned up, and when we come back, um, I'll have it ready for or clear coat uh pretty much all i'm doing is taking the tape off and um i'll i'll go ahead and pick up the eyes i want to put on it and then i'll actually turn it back on so you can see the eyes um anyway we will not 100 percent finish it tonight because i'm going to do uh i actually want a epoxy instead of a dip i want to do a epoxy clear coat so i'll let it sit overnight and tomorrow when I get off work uh, I'll probably lay down and take a two hour nap sometimes I don't we'll all we'll, all, we'll see but um, anyway and what I'll do is actually continue it tomorrow but anyway let me clean this gun and we'll come back and we'll we'll do the eyes all right what I decided to do was um on this prop duster I'm actually going to go with the eyes that I took off of it um one of them is i scratched a little bit but it ain't it ain't bad um i chose to go with those eyes just because i i think it actually looked you know pretty cool um and i think it'll fit it really good uh i had some eyes that were similar but not exact but i really after thinking hard on i want to go back with these eyes so let me get this position where maybe you can see what I'm doing all right I'm just gonna put a, a small I don't know if I my hands probably in the way I'm putting just a little a little drop Let's see. Well, actually, I need to put a little bit more so to touch it good. It. There we go. Cause I really didn't want to touch it. Cause it don't sit as deep in that socket as it. As maybe it used to, but. Anyway, see if you can see that eye. Uh, that eye, I think, is actually pretty good. All right, let's do the same on this side. I'm putting a little bit more than what I usually would. The uh, main reason, it don't seem to sit as deep in the socket, you know, as it once did, but that's understandable. I mean, reusing eyes <clears throat> isn't really ideal but all right let's see it put this to the side and then we will do the other one yeah try to see if you can those eyes look pretty good i think they look pretty decent all right 
Uh, this one right here, I chose to go with a a uh, this color is actually called Fire. I chose to go with that color. Uh, I really think it will go well with this bait. Now this one, because I know it will sit flush in there, I'm only putting a small little dab. There, I think that looks good. A lot of times, depends on the bait, I will actually use a, a little toothpick or something to help guide, but with these right here, it ain't gonna be no problem to get it, you know, lined up perfect. All right. I think that is uh, perfecto. All right. Set that to the side. And now we are we're actually ready for um cuz it don't really take that glue but just a minute um that prop bait I will sit it to the side and do it um do it last. Um because I put a little bit more glue on it than I did the than I did the um the glide bait, so of course technically they're supposed to both be like a, a glide style bait but you know um anyway let's see which I'm trying to see which one would be let me swap this out just hang that up since we're gonna do them since I'm gonna do this style bait first. Lock that in. Okay. All right, um, and y'all, you pretty much all know how to do epoxy. So, I mean, I shouldn't have to go in uh, too great of detail when it comes to epoxy. Um, or I wouldn't think so. Um, anyway, this, I use this two-ton, uh, um, let's see, what's the Devcon, it's, uh, this one is 30 minute. Uh, even though it says 30 minutes, you do not have 30 minutes of work time, so, um, if it's your first time working with it, really pay attention to that, um, because it does not, let's see. It does not give you a full 30 minute work time. Uh, that is false. Uh, let's see, 1.8. And I try to get it as close as possible. You know, 1.8. So this next side I'll do exactly 1.8 um, grams that is because uh, you want to try to stay as close as possible because uh, you get a in my opinion you get a better result if you get it as close as you can um, with the grams sometimes it's hard to get dead on Oh, I'm right there at it. There we go. Sometimes you gotta let it settle for a minute. All right. So we got 1.8 of each. And what I'm gonna do is do the uh, do the top side first, and then I will probably mix up a new batch for the bottom. Uh, like I say, you don't get that much work time. And one thing I want to do is just barely. I love using this stuff. This is a uh, alumilite powder. Uh, it's real. And it's strong you don't have to just i'll dab just the very tip of the brush in it and start mixing it that way and what i actually do most of the time i'll just take the very end and get it started real good mixing up um like i say realistically you get about in this 30 minute epoxy you get uh once you get it you know set 
as far as um, get it mixed up and ready you really got only a about maybe a five minute you know between a three to five minute work time before it starts setting up on you uh, five minute epoxy I have used it but you you don't get much at all you only get a I mean by the time you get it mixed up uh, you better be applying it to your bait or you will not be you will not be um, finishing that bait but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you watch me do this uh, this first little bit and then I'm gonna finish the others off camera uh, mainly because it takes so much time uh, and we still got to come back tomorrow to uh, to finish this up so you know I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this um, technique wise personally I always go right around the face and around the eyes first uh, that is if uh, you end up getting an air bubble around the eye socket um, you can usually notice it pretty quick you know or at least by the time you get the bait almost finished so I like to do the the um, eye socket first And on this bait, you know, it's got that little front uh, clear spot, glide area. I just chose to leave it clear. Uh, I could have painted it, but I chose to leave it clear. Um, they had it clear on the other bait, so I figured I'd leave it alone. Let it stay clear. I've actually never used one of these uh, style baits. I had been wanting one for a while. Um, but who knows i might i might um keep it i might not i know i'll keep the prop duster um this one i ain't 100 percent decided on you know i might decide to keep it or i might decide to get me another one paint it up and sell it or i say sell it um i've been doing some of those um there's a, uh, they call it waffle, but it's actually a raffle page. Um, I might, you know, put one, of, I just don't want to, you know, I do some of the plastics on it sometime and stuff like that, but I just don't want to get back to where, oh, where people trying to order uh, custom baits because it takes too long. And I mean, there's too much competition when it comes to this kind of stuff and you really, you know I mean for the time it takes you're not well I guess you make about as much as you do on the plastic side but I mean it's just real time consuming um, I pretty much only do custom uh, colors like this for myself or I got a few customers that you know that have been with me from the start that I'll I'll make some stuff for once in a while but it is not very often and when it comes to the clear coat um, it really depends on what a customer wants and what style bait it is you know uh, personally I like this you know I like this epoxy uh, it's really hard and if you do it right it's extremely clear uh, now I will dip it in a UV and do it that way I mean for example we could actually finish this bait tonight and have it ready for you know to show the end product probably before I go to work but this style bait I wanted to I wanted to do it you know with the the epoxy but anyway we're almost done with this one and like I say once once we're done with uh, with this one, I'll do the other halves off of uh, off camera, and then when you come back, it will actually be the next day, and we will be doing assembly and go from there. And hopefully, it's not too long. Like I say, if I if I hadn't have done the if I hadn't have done the actual you know sped up time on the time lapse this video would be way way too long all right 
I think I think we are about I think we are about done I'll give it what I like to do is try to get in a in an angle in the light so I can really like lean it back and forth and make sure I get it all the way covered because there's nothing worse than getting a bait finished and think you're all the way done put it on the rack and then realize the next day that you you know you missed a little spot so I always try to try to look at it in every light angle to make sure that we got every you know everything covered and that is pretty much almost it I got one little spot that is right there at the I thought it's right there up under the the front eye. All right. Well, that is that is done. Let's see if we can. And the only reason I like to use that little bit of real light pearl, it gives it a little extra sparkle and it really makes it stand out. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna put this on the um, on the turner and go ahead and finish these other pieces, and we will come back tomorrow and actually um, see what they look like. Put the hardware on, put them together, put the hooks on, and. We will have a you know finished bait we might even throw them in the little tank and see how they move all right i'll see you then all right it's the next morning um i just took these down fixing to reassemble them um usually i like to wear gloves you know after i do this or uh you know for a little while after they cure just to minimize the uh amount of fingerprints they get on them and stuff like that you know so anyway all right let's reassemble this baby let's see if we can get everything lined back up try to do it in the camera angle Uh, I decided to stay on up instead of laying down, taking a little short. Usually when I get off and it's my days off, usually I try to lay down and take a, you know, a nap. I'll usually take a, I'll usually take a two, three hour nap because I, I don't want to sleep the day away because it makes me feel like I'm wasting a, you know, a day off if I'm, if I just lay down and go to sleep, so anyway, I'll I decided today I'll stay on up. I got a little bit of work I need to get done anyway, so I'll go ahead and get this done. Then of course it'll take a few hours for me to once I get the video all the way shot, it'll take me a few hours for it to upload unless I drive down the road. But You've heard me say before, my internet here sucks extremely bad, so um, I can either try to do it here, take a few hours, or I can drive five minutes down the road and sit there at the interstate, and it will upload in about 15 minutes, so... Damn, I got, let me back that all the way back out. I missed, I see the top one wasn't quite in there. So all that for nothing. I might finish it off. Well, no, nah, this one won't take too bad. I was going to say I might 
finish it off camera so it I won't be wasting so much time but the video is already gonna be long anyway so all right there we go I hate these are little flat blade screws because they're they can be a pain in the butt all right we almost almost got this one done all right okay well there she is she turned out pretty nice I think that paint job turned out pretty good. Yeah, I think it done. I think it done pretty good. I'm uh, I'm satisfied with it. All right, let's get the hooks and everything back on this one. Just putting factory hardware right back on it. The only time I change, uh, anytime I repaint a lure, only time I change like the hooks or anything out is if, if they, uh, you know, if it's a brand that I don't really care for their hooks, I'll, I'll swap the hooks out or split rings or something like that. Let me change this. I want that. I should have looked at that a little bit better. I want this hook facing the opposite way. Or the correct way. I put it on backwards. Not that it really is going to matter, but it's just how I want it. I want it the way it's supposed to be. But there we go. Only other thing is put this right here on. Of course, I don't reckon this really matters because technically it might help a little bit, but. Anyway, there's that one. This one might take a little bit longer because it's a, uh, you know, it's a different style. So, uh, come here. And the reason I say this one right here will take a little bit longer is because I'm going to have to glue these in place. So, but anyway, I'll show you how it's going to be put together and then I'll actually glue it in place off camera. I'll, I'll, I'll have to drill this little hole out, but that's going to be so we ain't wasting so much time. Basically this is going to be inside there i'm going to glue it in place same with this right here that will be put in just like that and i'll i'll actually glue that in but i'm going to do it off camera so you see what what it's going to be anyway i'm going to do it off camera uh just so we ain't taking too long and it won't take that uh glue too long to uh to set so when that's done we'll come back but other than that man it turned out turned out great i'm i'm very happy with how it turned out but anyway we'll come back all right not too shabby I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty good to me. Not 
too bad. <clears throat> yeah, I think it turned out just fine. Yep, I'm happy with that. That looks a lot better than the uh, than the color it was. A lot better, so I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> and I believe I'll probably keep both of them. I mean, you put that much work into it. Yep. I'm very happy with how they both turned out. Hang them up there and I'll put them in my my collection later. <clears throat> but, alright. We're going to wrap this up. I'm still going to hold on to this box just in case. I mean, I plan on keeping that one, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it to the box usually i don't keep the boxes i throw them away shortly after i open them but i'll hold on to that one for a little bit you know <clears throat> anyway i got i got a bunch more lures that i really been wanting to uh, repaint a few of them um well hell i'll show you a few i've i've been gradually getting rid of a few but I've got uh, doo -doo -doo. I've got more. Uh, I've got more of these. I've been I've been thinking about painting a couple of these up, you know, cause I got I got duplicates of a lot of these, especially like that one right there. You know, I got a bunch of duplicates of those. I've got quite a few of those. I only have one of this one. I think I'll leave that one alone because that's like a $40 bait. So, um, definitely leave that one alone. But anyway, some of these I'll probably gradually paint me up a couple. Like that one, I'll leave it alone. That one I may leave alone, but anyway, I know I have, uh, where the hell did it go? I know I have a couple of the, um, uh, of the white one I showed you to begin with, like this one. I have a few of those, you know, I'll probably end up repainting a couple of those. <clears throat> I have a couple of I have several of those. I might repaint. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's one of those things when you get started repainting stuff. Like I ended up, I got a ton of those. Um, it's one of those things when you start repainting baits like this one right here. I uh, I might repaint that one. I had a couple of these. I got rid of one of them. That was the uh, the standard size. That's the junior. Um, I'll probably I'll pro probably repaint that into like a um, more like a bluegill perch or you know something along that lines. Um, anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. I don't know how long the video is gonna be. It's probably gonna be longer than it needed to be. Um, these i was gonna do a test a little test in my little tank but um these are you know more glide bait sheet and that tank is really not hell it's probably only four feet long so you you wouldn't get but like one or two little quick little jerks with it to see what it would uh do so i'm not even gonna waste my time you know throwing them in that um anyway it's just you know they're just glide baits um <clears throat> i actually when i first got the the prop duster 
I tried it out uh, as far as like testing it out. It done our, it does good as far as a, a you know a little glide, but I really don't. They call it a prop duster because uh, it got that little prop in it. Um, it does okay. It really don't have that much movement, but it might make a little extra turbulence or noise. Funny thing about that bait, I actually want to look up and see how long they've been making that style bait. The reason I say that, years ago, I made one. I still have it in here somewhere uh, in one of my old boxes of baits I've made throughout the years. But I got one I made several years ago that's like that. It's not necessarily a um, a glide bait. It's more of a, a slow sinking, I guess you would call it a semi, you know, hybrid style glide bait but anyway and i actually made it with a damn it's got a bigger uh buzz bait style blade than that but because that's a small one but it's funny i actually made one like that years ago before i ever seen any of these the first ones of those i saw was only a few months ago and i like i say when i saw it i wanted to get one and try it out but i got that one and then I saw the other two. I ended up with them, and I didn't realize they made big ones, and they were too big. But anyway, it's just one of them funny things. I had made one. Like I said, I got it in here somewhere. It's in my box. And now it don't look as good because it was an experiment. You know what I mean? It's it's made out of wood, of course, and it don't look as good. And I don't, I won't, I don't know if it was. I can't remember if I made it a jointed or if I just made it work more like a a darter style bait you know but i remember i made it with a damn prop on it it's got me curious now i want to go look for it but anyway we're not going to waste no more time um it technically it's new year's uh today's january the first 2022 uh let's see what this year brings uh this past year has went by so fast um i've got and I know y'all get tired of me saying it, but I've got so much stuff lined up that I got to get done. And I got a lot of big things happening and I'm excited about it and I really ain't been announcing it. But anyway, uh, when the time gets closer, I'll, I'll gradually, you know, fill you in on some of that stuff. But um, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I appreciate everybody that's watching, um, everybody that subscribed. Hopefully this is not too long. I know we did the um, we did the um, time lapse, so that sped everything up pretty quick. So anyway, we're gonna shut this down. If you like the video, thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to it. If it's you know a channel that seems to catch your interest, uh, it's not for everybody. Believe me, it's not. Cause I start doing this. Some people don't mind it. Some people do. You know, it is what it is. But um, anyway, I will try to get some more content out here in the next week or so. Um, I'm off for two days, and then I'll start a, a nine-day stretch. So uh, sometime during that period of time, I'll try to I'll try to do another one. Um, I ain't decided if I'm going to do it on a spinner bait or anything like that yet, uh, we'll see, um, if one of my new molds come in and it'll be on that. But anyway, I appreciate you. Uh, hopefully you learned something. If you did great, if not, then maybe it was entertaining. All right, we'll catch you next time.